Hi everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to detect contours using OpenCV. So this contour detection is very helpful for extracting uh, useful information from the image. It will just uh, give some uh, bounding box for an image. Like if we go for this example, so these are the important details, right? Apart from the background. So this is some uh, important object and this hand is some important object. It will just uh, draw some uh, borders across this uh, important details and it will give it to us. So what we can do is you can separate the foreground and uh, background using this contour detection. And apart from that, you can also use this for uh, some feature extraction, like extracting important features. Let's go for another image. So this is our another test image. So here you can see apart from this black color, these are all uh, different shapes. So it will try to uh, detect this uh, edges of this uh, important images. It will give us a contour of this uh, particular uh, segments. So that is our objective of this uh, whole project. And uh, this can be useful for uh, many things, but mostly it will be uh, useful for uh, foreground and uh, background uh, separation. And it can also be used for some kind of uh, motion detection. It will be a very useful component if you are uh, doing some uh, image processing uh, projects. So sometimes uh, it will automatically uh, segment these important uh, features that is uh, these shapes in this image and uh, these details. So let us see how to do it. So currently I'm using a uh, Visual Studio code and I'm going to use OpenCV to do all the processing. If you want to install OpenCV means just uh, do it in the command line. So install module. So pip install opencv python. Just run this uh, command and it will uh, install the module. After this, let's import it. Import cv2. So this is the module we are going to use. Now let's load the image. Image equals cv2 dot im read off. So first I'm going to go for uh, test.jpg. We are going to uh, show the demo for uh, both the images. Currently I'm going for this image. So load the image and we will display it. Display the image. So to display the image, use cv2 dot I am show I am show of some title I will say it as original image comma the image variable so that's done after that cv2 dot weight key of zero so weight key means it will just uh, display the image until you press the key zero means it will just display infinitely so if you specify some number means it will just specify those images until some uh, microseconds or some seconds. So be sure to put this and after this at the end of the program, cv2 dot destroy all windows. So it will just close all the image windows that you are opened before. So this is the base. Maybe let's run it once to check. Okay, again, the image uh, size is uh, bigger. So we have to resize the image. Now here, resize the image. Now image equals cv2 dot resize of image comma the dimension. I'll just say 400 comma 400. Let's run this once. Okay, now we can able to see the image clearly. Maybe we can reduce this further if we want. Maybe we will go for 350. Okay, let's close this, change it to 350. Okay, that's done. So this is uh, loading of the original image. Let's convert it into a grayscale. So why we are converting into a grayscale means it will uh, process better if we have it in a grayscale. So it will just uh, simplify the data. That's why. So convert to grayscale. Grayscale. 
now i'll say image gray equals cv2 dot convert color of image comma cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray so by default it will just uh, load it as uh, bgr so that's why i'm just converting from uh, bgr to gray scale and again we will just display the image so this will be image gray amg gray and this will be grayscale image okay that's done okay after converting into grayscale we will uh, apply binary threshold so apply binary threshold i'll show you what happens if we apply a uh, binary threshold it it will just uh, give you the context in uh, black and white so let's apply it so return comma threshold okay this is just a function i'll just say img underscore thresh equals cv2 dot threshold here pass the grayscale image now this is the threshold value I am going for uh, 150 and next the maximum value all the pixel are in the range of 0 to uh, 255 so the maximum is 255 and uh, type so that will be binary cv2 dot trash binary okay so this will uh, give us the binary image now again we will just display the image so here I will use the image stress and this will be binary image. Okay. Okay, that's done. Maybe until now we will just uh, check the output. So it will be very helpful for our understanding. Run this. So this is our original image. This is the grayscale. And this is the binary. I think in the binary uh, it also like eliminated uh, these parts of the image compared to the grayscale I think it gone dark and in the hand uh, we got some good uh, results for the hand I think uh, we will see the results for uh, both of these images now this is the results we have got and after this we will use this uh, binary uh, image or the threshold image for detecting the contours so first we will detect the contours detect contours on binary image now contours comma underscore so here cv2 dot find contours here we will pass the binary image that is image thrust so img underscore thresh comma and next is some uh, mode so in the mode we will pass uh, cv2 dot writer underscore tree so this is the algorithm for uh, finding this uh, contours and next we will have the method here we are going to use cv2 dot chain approx none again you also have a chain approx simple and you can also use a different algorithm to detect the contours so you can uh, play around with this and uh, find which one is suits better i'm gonna go with this one so that's it for detecting the counters and next we will draw the counters on the image that is the original image so here what we are going to do is draw contours on original image now 
cv2 dot draw contours now here it's very good right and the visual studio it's automatically showing the parameters so we can able to directly uh, use this so here we will pass the image that is the original image now we have found the contours so pass this contour index so contour index we will specify minus 1 that means uh, we, will, we are going to use uh, all the contours we can also use uh, specific contours or uh, specific index if you want currently I am just going to use all of them and color color we have to specify it in terms of uh, pixel values so I will say uh, green color so that is like a common color so 0 255 and zero after the color thickness i'll say one we can also adjust if we want maybe for better thickness uh, we will have three now after that line type line type equals cv2 dot line yeah. so these are the contours now i guess it will just draw on the original image i think we need a copy of this so i will say image copy equals image dot copy so that's done i'll just pass this image copy so this will just uh, draw the counters on this duplicate image so it won't interfere with this original now let's again display the image this is our final result so here contour image and here pass the image copy that's done okay let's run this once to check the results okay original image grayscale image binary image and this is the contours we are getting i think it's actually getting this uh, small individual uh, boxes for this image so i think uh, here also it's trying to get it but uh, it's not like but uh, here in the binary image uh, you can see uh, it's just uh, currently highlighting this uh, the white color ones as you can able to clearly see it's just uh, drawing contours on the surrounding of uh, white pixels and here also we are getting some white that's why we are uh, getting some green color here maybe thickness values is also high maybe we can also reduce that and we will try to adjust this uh, binary threshold in order to detect more let's see I will specify it as 100 and we will see how the things works and here also we will say it as 2 um, yeah that should be fine let's run this now original grayscale so in the binary currently we are getting more I think these are all some unnecessary uh, results so I think because of the background I think we have to specify that result more but here we are getting uh, more uh, white pixels and the contours so these are all like unnecessary things we will just leave it but it's uh, currently highlighting this hand very clearly and also in the cube except these uh, part these parts are currently uh, highlighted very well so that is good for us okay let's change the image now let's run this so this is the original this is the grayscale and this is the binary image but in the binary we just completely lost this one because of this dark color i think it won't uh, detect dark color the very much and this is the contour so i think it's much more clear for you now so i'll just arrange this so you can 
see it clearly so you can see uh, from the original image it's uh, based on the binary image it's currently uh, highlighting the segments so it just clearly highlighting for these things uh, that are having uh, bright colors it's working fine but for the dark colors it's uh, not much working so i think we have to define the threshold uh, based on that so based on your uh, use case you have to define the threshold in the binary so that is here before it was like 150 let's change it to 150 and check whether it is uh, the same so now i'm going to run this again original grayscale binary so if i increase the threshold this is also like disappeared see this is the result i'm getting so two of the shapes are disappeared because of this threshold values so you can clearly uh, see the difference just adjust the threshold based on your uh, input image and you will get some better results and i'm going to run it for the last time with a uh, result of 50 and uh, let's run this and i'll also comment this i just threshold from 50 to 150 to get good results for the corresponding image okay let's run this this is the final time so original grayscale now you can clearly see now it's uh, trying to detect all the shapes and with all the colors and we have got our uh, counter results we just got all the important information you can just uh, clearly ignore the background using this uh, technique and it will be very helpful for various image processing uh, projects and you can also use this for uh, feature extraction if you are going for some machine learning or uh, advanced deep learning projects so it all depends on your uh, creativity and that's it guys this is how you can detect uh, contours using OpenCV and you can also you can also try various algorithms to play around and that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video